Hey everybody, it's Felisa. This is going to be an entry into the Vlogmas. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. It's great. It's raining. Y'all know I'm out of rain. It's 46 degrees. And yeah, I think that it's going to be a beautiful day. Anyway, um, so you guys know that I told y'all that I was going to be starting um, my detox for yet, you know, the thousandth time. But I'm just of the mind that you just keep starting until you get finished. Anyway, so my daughter was actually, she was like teasing me. She was like, Mom, so you really going to start detoxing right before the holidays? Like the, the worst time of the year ever. I'm like, yeah, because I'm, the way that my mind works is once I've thought about something long enough to come to a decision, like that decision is put in place almost immediately. Like I don't have the ability to have this arbitrary date in my head where I'm just going to select it and, you know, okay, this is the day that I'm gonna start. I hate stuff like that. Like I feel like it just heightens the procrastination. And so if I made a decision, why not start now? What is the wait for? So, you know, the day that I decided that I needed to do this, I stopped at Trader Joe's on the way home, got my, you know, my, my leafy vegetables, my kale, um, my fruit. I'm not really a big fruit eater, but you do need them for the, the smoothie cleanse. I wanted to do the smoothie cleanse to kind of um, kick this off. I did a detox the whole weekend, my colon cleanse. Sorry, I know the best thing in mind, but it is what it is, y'all. Anyway, so I did my colon cleanse that whole weekend, um, cut out um, processed foods, um, sugars, um, alcohol. I still haven't worked around to my coffee. Although I didn't have any coffee, yes, I'm lying. Yes, I did. <laughs> but I didn't have any coffee Saturday, so I'm weaning myself off coffee. Um, last time I did that all at once, I was just like I was under the bed. I was so sick and headachy. And I know that that was a detox, but yeah, that it was just terrible. Anyway, so um, I started with that um, over the weekend. So last week was like my first um, mini week of, of getting it done. And then Thursday and Friday were in earnest. So today is Monday. And so, you know, I'm feeling really good. I'm, you know, I'm feeling like I'm getting to the back of my old, you know, self, my old, um, like I feel more mentally clear. I've been sleeping a lot better, which y'all know when I talked about insomnia and all that kind of stuff like that, it was just annoying me. Like I really needed to get out from under this weight. Like what in the world is going on? So I've been sleeping a lot better. Um, I actually went to bed last night. It took me a while to go to sleep. Like I just wasn't tired. Um, but I, I don't think that that was an uh, insomnia ep episode because I, I legitimately, okay, talk. I was legitimately not tired, even though it was late, and I kept waiting to like feel this drowsy, and I wasn't. Um, so you know, I, I read for a little bit, and then probably about midnight, I was like, okay, girl, you need to go to sleep. So I turned everything off, and I didn't have any trouble with falling asleep, even though I didn't necessarily feel sleepy. So I didn't lay there um, waiting to just doze off. Like I literally was like an infant. <laughs> so I turned off the light. Plus I had sprayed my pillows and stuff with my lavender and all that stuff. I told y'all about the rituals that I said that I needed to get back to. Anyway, um, so I feel like you know now that I'm getting all of the toxins and things out of my body, some things that may have been throwing off my circadian rhythm. Um, then, you know, hopefully I'm getting back to a more normal state. And for that, I'm appreciative. I did want to mention that I've been doing casserole packs for the last three days, which um, I love. In case you're not familiar, casserole packs is um, really just, you know, you have grade A a castor oil. Um, I rub that on my abdomen, my, you know, my back, back fat. You wrap yourself um, in a... A lot of the sites call for wool flannel, but I don't know, um, you know, I don't know that you necessarily need to have that. Um, I think that it's, you know, it's important to just have an absorbent towel. So I soak the towel. I, I take it, I had a, like a terry cloth beach towel that I cut up into strips wide enough to fit over my abdomen. And, um, I would soak that in castor oil, put that on top of my, my stomach, 
period wrap that in saran wrap and then you're supposed to put a heating pad or a hot water bottle on top of that like a conduit just you know kind of get everything moving but i also use my waist trainer because all that stuff is just a mess and although you know you can wrap as tightly as you want to with the saran wrap the reality is that once you start moving it starts to loosen up and with the oils and stuff it can be really really um uh quite messy so I think you know one of the things that I tried to do was to make sure that I was doing it and having it on as long as possible so I've taken to sleeping in it which you know before I did that I really researched and made sure that you know that wasn't a problem I wasn't gonna wake up and you know my uterus be on the bed or something like that but no you know there's really no harm in it the best benefits are from 30 minutes to 60 minutes but you know you can feel free to sleep in it if you like and i have done so um the benefits as i've read is you know like there are a lot of total body benefits for women particularly there are you know benefits to the endometria uh, if, you have, if you suffer from endometriosis um you know the um the uterine lining it helps improve fertility, helps reduce fibroids, um, helps with your ovaries, all over um, lymphatic system, liver, um, constipation, intestines, things that, I mean, just all over the place. The, the benefits of castor oil have long been proven. Now, um, I remember that my mother used to say that they used to give castor oil internally. They're no longer recommending that. So if y'all out there still taking, ingesting castor oil, you might want to stop doing that and investigate that. Um, there are uh, numerous studies that show that, you know, castor oil is very caustic and it causes extreme abdominal and intestinal irritation and it's not good to be ingested orally. Um, topically, the benefits are just as great because it's absorbed in the skin and, you know, you kind of have that buffer there where you're not just... All, taking all this glob of, of goo all at once um, so I love my casserole packs and then the, the other added benefit is that it reduce, reduces bloat and I'm a living witness to this I've done castor oil packs measure myself you know at, at night done a castor oil pack and in the morning like I literally am an inch to two inches down around the waist so it helps because it helps to drain the lymphatic system, helps get things moving. It reduces that, that belly bloat and all those kinds of things, helps to reach, uh, generate the liver, all kinds of things. So, you know, I don't take my word for it. Really read up on it, research castor oil packs and, you know, see what you come up with and, you know, you can modify it and, and do it the way that you like. I also sometimes will add lavender or um, tea tree to my castor oil just to get some additional aromatherapy benefits because I believe in the benefits of essential oils and plants and things like that. Um, so it really is of great benefit. And then I also use it like on my hair. I have, during my high times of stress, like girl, my edges was like, yeah, peace out. So I was like, no! <laughs> So I started to make up a concoction of tea tree castor oil and something else. I can't remember what else I was putting in there, but, um, oh, a little bit of rice water and, um, just, uh, like in taking a toothbrush and taking it and, and massaging those areas that were thinning around my edges. And I'm pleased to say that, you know, months later, and it does take some time to grow back, but I'm so happy with the progress and happy with that i also use it on my skin um i mean i use it all over just as a um a, a, a kind of oil after my shower and things like that because i've always been told that i have smooth skin and i would like to maintain that i do like i like my skin so um yeah so there's so many benefits of castor oil um you should really look into that i didn't mean to hijack you know this vlog and go off on a tangent about castor oil but i really am a living witness to its benefits and you know i think that you guys will um really enjoy what you're able to do with it and who knows you might stumble on something else that works for you um that i haven't even mentioned but i use castor oil for a lot and i buy it by the gallon um so yeah that's where i am in my overall journey i am three pounds down i'll take it I will take it because I think that it's moving in the right direction. So wherever you are on your health journey, wherever it is that you are on your journey to a better you, I wish you well. You know, I don't get discouraged. Things sometimes 
don't move some things move backwards but keep pushing keep pushing forward and keep believing that you can do it because you can i will talk to y'all later bye